the CEO of the developer that will buy the Thompson Center making the big reveal today, the rendering showing what is being called a bold plan to preserve and renovate the iconic downtown building despite the problems with heating and cooling that have plagued it with its 17-story atrium since the building opened in 1985. And those problems we found were very manageable. And actually the problems with the building really become the opportunities to make this building iconic and special. The governor calling the deal the best one for taxpayers. The state would maintain a 30% ownership stake. The prime group will be purchasing the Thompson Center for $70 million up front. And just as importantly, this sale alleviates taxpayers of over half a billion dollars in necessary deferred maintenance costs on this building. The plans call for redoing the exterior with a new curtain wall with floor-to-ceiling energy-efficient windows. There will also be several levels with outdoor terraces. Honestly, look at how beautiful this is. So, you know, the answer is it truly is a, a, a gem. The centerpiece will be the new atrium, which the developer likens to the Gardens of Babylon. Uh, it, you know, it'll be the jewel of the building and hopefully the jewel of the building and be a place where tourists that come to the city of Chicago want to come and and have a photo. Architecture groups are praising the decision not only because it preserves the iconic building but also because the Helmut Jahn firm which originally designed the Thompson Center is doing the renovation. I'm ecstatic that the Thompson Center is going to be saved and it's going to be saved really much as what we see the valuable aspects of it today that central atrium that we love the shape uh, the conical shape of that building. The family of former Governor Jim Thompson for whom the building was named also gave their blessing to the plan. The 280 million dollar makeover calls for retaining office space and the CTA station and it will remain open during renovations which could begin within 12 months and take about two years. Craig Wall, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC 7 Chicago YouTube channel.